Oh, I, I really loved a lot of the things we did. I thought that was our best serving performance. Um, uh, I know we got a lot of aces, but even if they weren't aces, I just thought it was really consistent pressure. Um, you know, we made it hard on them. Um, and that's why you can see those scores in the first and the fourth set. I'm just proud of our group. And I thought it was everybody. I thought everybody went back there and had really good mindset serving. And if we can do that, we're a very different team. And um, I think we're, we're especially tough. Um, excited to see Gabby and Mimi uh, put together a great match together. And uh, they just had a really hard time with them. So uh, a lot of really encouraging things um, to come out of this. And uh, we, it's a good team that we just beat. You talked on Friday about how physical it was going to be in this match. And you got blocked them 9-2. to two. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk a little bit about the physicality and how you were able to win? Yeah, I mean, I think we, you know, we've talked about, you know, um, we don't just have size, we can play with speed with that size. And I think that's what makes it such a tough cover. Um, you know, if we slow that ball down a little bit, they get really big and their block is huge. So, um, you know, I thought we passed really well. Um, I thought Gabby, um, you know, and Georgia fought them off, you know, well the whole match. Um, and then that allows Hannah just to kind of pick them apart, which I thought, you know, she did that about as good as I've seen her do it. Um, throughout, and she used all her weapons, um, and you know that was really encouraging. But again, it's just it's so. I mean, Gabby's hitting that ball before their block can get formed, and you know I think that um, you know kind of makes them n not as big, right? It makes them leaning and reaching, and when you got that going on, so it was hard to get like Kara involved in this match, right? Because they're kind of camping on her, um, you know. But that's what they chose to take away. So then the lefts, you know, can have a really nice day. What did Colorado do in the second set to kind of flip the script on you guys after that first set and tie it up? Yeah, I thought they, they handled our service pressure much better. I still thought we were serving well, but I thought they passed, they made a, they made an adjustment. They switched the libero out and then they changed their outsides. And um, I thought that worked out really well for them. Um, and they carried that over, you know, for a lot of the third set. Um, you know, we just kind of had to find our way. And then I thought I thought the game got tight. And then I'll, I thought we made a couple of uncharacteristic areas in different areas, um, you know, of the game. Um, but, uh, you know, again, credit to them. They're a good team. Um, you know, uh, the first and fourth set score, I don't think that's indicative, you know, of them. I think that's just how well we played in those those two sets, um, you know. So uh, good, good uh, adjustments by them and then nice adjustments by us to come back. How did you rate this performance of Hannah today? I mean, it filled up the stat sheet. Six kills, 45 assists. I mean, the offense was clicking. She was digging out balls at a ridiculous rate. I mean, just overall, like, how complete of a performance was it? Yeah, I'm not sure people understand just how good she is. Like, because she impacts so many different areas of our game. And I, I mean, I, I'll say that I think, I don't know, how, she knows how good she is either, because I think she could attack a lot more herself than she does. I think she's much more athletic than she believes she is. Um, you know, a physical above the net. I think she could do some of those things even more. I would encourage her to continue to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the best defensive setter I've seen, and I never thought I would say that two years ago, but I'm saying it now. Um, she, she just has a great nose for the ball, great read, um, just fights really hard, willing to give up her body. Um, you know, and people try to target her, but I think, you know, we're sit, we were swinging pretty well out of system, so that, that didn't work out so great, um, like, like people try to do. Um, and then, her, you know, service pressure. And then, and like I said, she just, she can read the defense so well, and she can keep a really fast tempo on the run, which is not easy to do. So, yeah, no, she's, she's really a, a special volleyball player, and happy she's a duck. You guys were really, really uh, aggressive defensively at the net. Was that part of the game plan going into this? Have to be. You know, again, they, they hit the ball really hard. Um, you know, Sky Howard, again, if you don't put up a good block on her, she's going to hurt us. Like, she'll injure us. She hits the ball so hard and high. Um, and I thought we did a nice job. Again, a lot of good touches on her. Um, you know, she wasn't able to dictate the game like I know I know she can. Um, so that was good. And that was a big part of why we had to serve so tough. Because if it was easy, she's she's going to be really, really tough for us to stop. So I thought Kara, you know, Kara did a nice job, matched up on her, got a lot of good touches. Morgan made some good help reads, um, you know, I think, which was important for us. But, um, yeah, I mean, we have to be a, a big blocking team, um, you know, and I, I thought we did a pretty good job overall. The middles are uh, were pretty explosive. Even in that second set, mm -hmm. you guys dropped. Um, just how do you feel, kind of, of the balance right now? It seems like the pins have kind of the improve or uh, improvement, kind of in their connection, and the middles are going. Just how would you say this balanced offense is kind of helping you guys move forward as you guys reach kind of the end of the season? Yeah, I mean, you know, by the end of the year, you want everybody. You know, you what you want is you want Hannah to feel like she can make the right choice every time. Right, which means that she has to have confidence setting whichever player that's going to be. Um, so again, there are certain rotations where they're really, you know, challenging our middles to score, saying like, "You, you have to beat us in this row," and they did. And then there was times where they're saying, "Well, you have to beat us with Morgan, or you have to beat us out of the back row or left." 
Um, you know, so she needs to feel free to make that read and make that choice. There's, there's been times this year where she hasn't felt confident maybe going to a certain player in a certain rotation. And then that makes us much more readable, defendable. So she has to feel free. And I, I do feel like if you ask her right now, she feels like she feels confident sending anybody in any situation. Um, and again, I think our hitters are making good choices. You know, we had some off speed shots that were really great decisions, um, using the block how we should, not just going for, you know, highlight kills all the time. Um, and yes, that was a jab at the person in the room, but. Um, you know, overall, the more that Hannah feels like she can spread the offense around, I, I you know, that makes us pretty tough. And Sunday's a home game, so they've had it kind of tough for you guys this season. Just to get this one good win under your belt, probably not the most full, <laughs> consistent game that you want to play, but you can't play perfect. Just to kind of how are you guys uh, feeling after kind of breaking that, that, uh, I want to say curse? Is curse a good word? No, it's not. <laughs> Pick a different one. It's not a curse now. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, Sundays we've had, you know, Wazoo at home, ASU at home, Stanford at home, you know, so that that's a curse, you know, when you're playing those teams at home in Colorado. Again, I think Colorado's a tournament team. I think they'll be there in the end. Um, you know, to hold them under 10, that is about as good as, I mean, that's that's pretty perfect of a game, you know, a match for us. I think the middle two sets are much more normal. You know, they, they're going to, the ebbs and flows of it. Um, so again, I thought we had just, you know, pretty excellent performance overall. Um, yeah, we didn't do it in three, but uh, we played pretty clean volleyball. Um, as far as Sunday goes, I don't know, because it's always been something different. You know, it's, it's not like it's always just serving or just this or, or that. Um, but I thought we, our intent was really good. Our mindset was really good. And I thought we were, we were about as consistent as we've been. Looking forward to Sanford, are you like itching to get back and play against such a good, powerful team to like try to improve on the season and, you know, kind of get one back like you did against Washington State? I'm excited to have practice on Tuesday. Um, I really do think our practice the last few weeks have, have really changed us. Um, I do feel like we're a very different team than we were three weeks ago. Um, you know, and I think we need to continue to push in practice. You know, we got some old NCAA bodies, you know, right now. So we're trying to manage that the best we can. But I do, you know, we have to continue to grow and um, in certain areas um, so that we're our best at the end. So, yeah, I, again, the conference this year has been great for challenging everybody. Um, and I do feel like we're going to be battle tested when we go into the playoffs. And that's the whole conference. You know, whoever gets in, I think will be will have seen it all, you know, knows how to adjust or knows how to react or um, you're not going to see a bigger block than some of the teams we play or better defenders or servers, et cetera. So, you know, we've already been adjusted to that. So, yeah, it'll be great to get back on the road and go play a really good competition with Stanford and Cal again. Um, but I'm excited for two more practices to try to get better. The Thursday game affect anything schedule wise on turn in terms of practice or just time wise? Just one less day of practice, um, but a couple times we've taken the sh kind of shorter weeks again, just maybe not practicing as long, but going more intense when we do. Um, so we'll have Monday off, tomorrow off, and then Tuesday, Wednesday practice, play Thursday. So it it's okay. The following week, though, we'll get a couple days off because we end early, and I think that will benefit us really well.